Hablamos con el doctor Guy Harvey sobre algo muy importante, el viejo y el mal. The old man and the sea, Guy, how you doing? Hey, Diego, great to see you here. By the way, this is my 30th anniversary at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, so it's 30th. a big year for me. Wow, yeah. 30th. So your visit is very timely. The, the old man and the sea story, of course, is written way back in the 50s. Uh, my mom gave me the book to read, and it made such a big impression on me that somebody would write about the fish that I love, the blue marlin. And of course, I fished in Jamaica in those days with guys who fished with hind lines and caught big fish. Mm -hmm. So I could relate to their, their ability to catch these huge fish, and I wanted to draw it. But when I was a teenager, uh, the marlin was then and still is the, the most exciting fish for, for me, uh, not only to see and catch and so on, but I was absolutely fixated by this animal when I was a teenager. You know, from the desire to bring these animals into people's lives, you cannot go to an aquarium or a zoo and see a blue marlin or a maker shark or a white marlin. You can only see them out there in their world. So to do that, to bring them into, make them more personal, uh, bring them to within you know, people's reach so they can experience the grandeur, the speed, the aggression, the beauty of a blue marlin is my ultimate goal. I think I've done that. The original paintings are now down in Key West, which is where they should be. At the Customs House. Beautiful At the location. Customs House, and a lot of people can come and see it. Um, it's, it's the largest body of work I've ever done, and I'd be hard-pressed nowadays, as busy as I am, to, to take on a similar project, because it was 60 different individual pieces of art. I'm sure it took yeah. a lot of time. Yeah. Of course, the story is, is the most famous fishing story of all time. Uh, Hemingway got a Nobel Prize from it. And actually, I went to a literary conference in Havana in 2000, and uh, it was all about Hemingway's work. And I sat next to Gregorio Fuentes one day. Mm -hmm. I met him many times before that, because I fished there quite a bit. In Kohima. In, in Kohima and in Havana, at the Havana uh, Yacht Club. But I sat next to Gregorio. He was 102 years old then. Wow. He was getting on. And I gave him a copy, and he signed a copy for me, and I have a signed copy from Gregorio. They, all those big fish fascinate me, and as, I'll spend as much time as I can with them wherever they exist. They're too few nowadays. That's the problem. Well, that gives me an incentive to go after the one you yeah. haven't caught. Yeah. Right? All right. Come <laughs> Thank to you, guy. Thank you, Diego. As always, you're a good friend. Thank Pleasure. you so much. Pleasure to be here. And good luck fishing. Buena pesca. Ahí es. Amigo, nos despedimos aquí con Guy Harvey en el Full Boat Show. Adiós.